Little Fox Journey to the West Chapter 11 Trouble in Heaven Erlang quickly tied up Wukong and brought him up to heaven. I want Sun Wukong destroyed, said the Jade Emperor. Soldiers tied Wukong to a pillar in a courtyard. They struck him with swords. But his body was as hard as a diamond. The swords shattered. Wukong laughed. <laughs> Your swords can't hurt me. The Jade Emperor turned to a messenger. Bring in the fire gods. Several fire gods entered the courtyard and threw balls of flame at Wukong. The courtyard filled with smoke. But when the smoke cleared, not one hair on Wukong's body was burned. <laughs> Thank you, Wukong laughed. I was feeling a little cold. Gather the Thunder Gods, said the Jade Emperor. Several Thunder Gods entered the courtyard. The Jade Emperor smiled as lightning bolts shot toward Wukong. But even the lightning couldn't harm the monkey. That tickled, said Wukong with a smile. The Jade Emperor shook his head. It seems that Wukong can't be destroyed. That's because he ate all the peaches, said Lauza. Just one peach would make someone live forever. He ate every peach in the garden. The Emperor frowned. Then how will we get rid of him? I have an idea, said Lauza. I'll put him in the large pot I use for making potions. Maybe we can burn him up slowly. Perfect, said the Jade Emperor. Soldiers brought Wukong to a room in Lauza's palace. A large pot sat in the middle of the room. Lauza put Wukong into the pot and then closed the lid. Lauza started a fire under the pot. Day and night he tended the fire. He kept it burning for 49 days. Wukong must have been destroyed by now, thought Lauza. He slowly took the lid off the pot. Smoke poured from the opening, and Wukong leaped out. The pot fell over. Burning pieces of coal flew everywhere. <coughs> Wukong's eyes were red and he was coughing. That smoke was horrible, he cried. He pushed Lauza, knocking the sage onto his back. Wukong pulled out his iron bar and smashed everything in the room. Somebody stop him, cried Lauza. Wukong ran out of Lauza's palace. Gods and spirits bled as Wukong smashed everything in his path. Lauza ran into the Cloud Palace. Your Majesty, Wukong is causing trouble all over heaven, he said. What? cried the Emperor. He's alive? Yes, said Lauza. I took the lid off the pot because I thought he was burned up. But the fire didn't hurt him at all. This is an outrage, said the Jade Emperor. What are we going to do with that monkey? The Emperor thought for a moment. We must ask Buddha for help, he said. He turned to a messenger. Go to the Western Paradise quickly. See if Buddha can come to help us. Flying as fast as he could, the messenger headed toward the Western Paradise. Everybody hid indoors as Wukong ran through heaven. 
Using his iron bar, he smashed doors and windows and knocked over statues. Suddenly, he stopped. Before him was a huge figure, glowing with golden light. What do you want? asked Wukong. I am Buddha, said the figure. Who are you and why are you causing all this trouble? Wukong smiled. I am Sun Wukong, King of the Fruit and Flower Mountain. I should be the King of Heaven too. I'm going to the Cloud Palace to tell the Jade Emperor to leave. If he doesn't, I'll never stop causing trouble. Tenny got soul soul, Yamuka soul soul. Little facts.